Hello everyone, this is Godzilla Wolf 1 with a toy review. Today I will be reviewing the Super Best DECA Driver from Kamen Rider Decade. Um, this was a re-release of the DECA Driver, which was originally released in 2010. I believe it's Korean, but there's really no difference between this and the original belt, except I think the cards have Korean on them instead of Japanese. But other than that, it's essentially the same exact toy. Um, this is the kind of the crown jewel of my collection, honestly, because it's the only driver I've ever been able to get, and it is a good one, in my opinion. It's probably one of the ones that gives you the most stuff right out of the box, in that you've got all ten of these cards here, instead of, like, say, the double driver, where you only get four, guy, four out of the six guy memories, or the O's driver, where you only get... Tato Ba combo and the Kamikiri medal. And so this ha does a bit more than a lot of drivers we've had recently right out of the box. Um, let's, let's get into details here. This is what I think TJ Omega calls a Type 2 belt, if I'm not mistaken, in that this side comes off. Um, I don't have a ride bucket though to display this with. Um, as you can see, the main part of the belt is modeled after a camera, which was kind of the theme of Decade, um, which is why the main riders were, um, yep, uh, let me see, why Decade, Decade was magenta, the end was cyan, and Kuga had yellow in his design, um, in his Rising Ultimate form, which is based off the color system used for photography. Um, very nice design. Design. You can even, see, if you get in close here, you can actually see that this has detail in the molding there. Nice bright metallic green here. And by the way, the silver paint that Bandai uses is beautiful, really. Um, here you have the ten Heisei Rider symbols. Kuga, Hagito, Ryuki, Thighs, Blade, well, Thighs, Blade, Hibiki, Kabuto, Deno, Kiva. And up here you have Decade in big bold letters, and more of that nice silver paint. Um, you can see the green cyan and blue there, which also goes into photography. Um, there's the card slot. And that's something else I like, and um, TJ once more comment, TJ Omega commented on it. Um, this is a very solid belt. Just listen. There's even detail inside here, all those little mechanical details, really nice. I wish they were painted though. Um, this belt strap, I think, is just a, re a rehash of the Deno belt, if I'm not mistaken. They just re they reused it. Even the back has detail on it, and the Bandai of Japan stuff. Um, Nice detail, the barcode design, which was kind of another secondary theme of the decade. And there's a, one more little bit, is open this up, use this button, and you can take the front off. This is for the K-Touch to install later, which was his upgrade. But as you can see, there's even detail in here which you're only going to see when you're transforming to using the K-Touch, which unfortunately I don't have yet, um, when you're transforming to Decade Complete. They didn't have to put anything in there, but they did. You're never going to see this. You're only going to see this when he transforms into Decade Complete. And I don't even think you'd see it that often in the show because he just kind of takes the belt off of here and moves it over there, to which I don't have the proper um, clip because I don't have the K-Touch yet. But anyway, that's the details of it. Now let's real quick look over um, the cards here. Um, Kuga, Agito, who is probably one of my favorite writer designs. Ryuki, or as we in American know him, Dragon Knight. Fies. Blade, who's one of my favorite writers, Hibiki, Kabuto, Deno, Kiva, and Decade himself. 
And they also have nice designs on the back. And there's Decade Symbol, which has, once more, the barcode. Okay, now let's turn this baby on and get to the effects. I mean, the sound effects. And switches on the bottom. Turn it on. And you get that nice um, camera sound and the red glow in the center iris there. To use it, you open it up on the side here. And once more, make sound effects. Everything you do with this belt makes some sound effect, which I like. Um, naturally, we will start with Decade itself. Henshin. Nice tent noise. Henshin. And you get Decade's Henshin. And the glow will stay for a bit there. Remove the card. As I said, everything you do with this belt does some sort of noise. Now let's go in order. Kuga. And that's the cool part about this belt. It contains the henshin sounds for every rider in here. And I also like that the symbol of the rider shows up in the center iris there. That's a nice touch in my opinion. Okay, Agito. are a bit shorter than they probably should be, but I don't mind. Ryuki. Like, I think they either shortened these or sped them up a little bit, but I can understand why. Fies, who, while not my favorite rider, has one of my favorite designs. I like his henshin sound, too. I would really like to get his belt, but it's so expensive. Um, Blade. Hibiki. Kabuto. And Dano, who some people are probably sick of seeing by now. I love that sound effect, by the way. And this driver is nice and loud. I like that about it. And finally, Kiba. And that's all this does out of the box, but that's still 10 unique henshins out of this thing. Unfortunately, it does not come with the final attack ride for a decade which I wish it did. There are a bunch of different cards you can actually find. You can find them on eBay. Some people are selling them there. I wish this came with the final attack ride um, card for Decade at least, so you'd have a finisher sound effect. But overall, this is a pretty nice belt right out of the box. It does a lot. And it, everything you do with it makes a noise, and I like that about it. And it's very well put together, and overall, it's probably one of my favorite belts you can actually buy. Um, at least that you can reasonably find right now. So, I recommend this thing. I really do. If you can find it for a decent price, I'd say go for it. Um, 
And another thing is you can probably find a printout with these, with the barcodes on the cards you can cut out anyway for the other cards. So it's really one of the best belts you could probably buy right now. So, I fully recommend this belt. It's one of my favorites, and overall it does a lot around the box, and it's a good toy to get. And you can probably still find it for fairly affordable prices. I know the super best ver um, version of the double driver is also available, which I honestly would also recommend, because it comes with all six Gaia memories instead of just the four the original came with. But it's a tad more expensive. Anyway, this has been a, rev a toy review by Godzilla Wolf 1. I hope you enjoyed it, and goodbye. Yeah, that's what happens if you do the, if you read the card wrong. <laughs> Let's try that. Again. Yeah, that's what happens when you read the card wrong. It makes that noise. I've humiliated myself. Goodbye. <laughs>